Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about Emmet. So Emmet is basically a tool that can be used to speed up the process of writing HTML and CSS. It basically has some shortcuts that you can use to uh, save a lot of your time in writing HTML and CSS and you can focus a lot on your logic and the design. So let's get started. So for this video, I'm using the Atom code editor and uh, you can download Atom from the official website of Atom. It is free and to install Emmet, you can go to file and click on settings and then click on install and here you can search for Emmet and click on packages and once it shows up you can click on install so I already have Emmet installed so let's begin with this video so the first and the common thing that uh, is mostly used by developers is the auto completion of the tags so for example if you want to write an HTML tag in the normal HTML you have to write HTML and close this tag and then write HTML and close this tag over here so with Emmet you can do it in a really simple way so you just have to type HTML the name of your tag and press tab on your keyboard and it will create the opening and the closing tags so you can do it for all the tags that you have for example I will type head and click on tab the it will create the opening and the ending tags for head you can do it for all the tags and you can also do it for any other word that you want for example if you want to type gt coding you can do it for this as well so basically you can type any word and press tab and it will create the opening and the closing tags so the next shortcut is the html5 template so if you are creating a new document and you want to get started really fast so then what you can do is type exclamation and press tab and it will create this whole HTML5 structure for you and you can tab over the different sections and you can change its values so here I will type my title and if I press tab over here it will come it will come to the body section and you can start your designing from here so this can save you a lot of time when creating a new project or a new document file. So next shortcut is creating tags with classes and IDs. So for example, if you want to create an H2 tag with a class of heading main, you can type in H2 dot heading main and press tab and it will create this opening and closing tags. And with that it also will create a class called heading main so for creating an ID you have to just type hash and the name of the ID so press tab and it will create the h2 with an ID of heading 1 and you can also write both of these things together h2 dot heading main hash heading one press tab and it will create an h2 with a class of heading main and id heading one so the next thing about emmet is that for some tags it will provide you with some additional information for example if you want to have an img tag you have to just type img and press tab it will create this img tag and with that it also will create the src attribute you can type it type anything that you want and when you press tab it will take you to the next attribute and you can type in whatever you want over here so this also goes with some other tags for example if you want if you type link and press tab and you just have to type the link of your file in the same way if you type a which is the anchor tag and press tab it will create this href and you can type in whatever you want over here now for some extra attributes that you want you can also write another shortcut so for example if you want to have a title attribute for your paragraph you can type in p 
square brackets and type title equals this is the title and when you press tab it will create this opening and closing tags of paragraph and it will have this attribute title over here and uh, this value over here so the next thing is that if you want to create a form you just have to type form and the method that you want to use for example if you want to have a form with the get method you just have to type form colon get and press tab it will create this form with the get method over here and you can type the value of the action over here in the same way you can also create a form with post so the next thing about emmet is that if you want to create a child item of a tag you can use the greater than symbol so if you have a ul and in that you want to create an li you just have to type greater than li and press tab it will create this unordered list and the list item inside the unordered list so if you want to create multiple tags you can use the star symbol so we will just type ul greater than and we want to have six list items so we'll type li star six and press tab so there we go we have our unordered list and these six list items so this can be really useful for you so the next thing is the plus symbol for sibling tags so if you want to have a division and in that you, you need to have a heading and a paragraph so you can just type h2 for the heading and plus p and it will create these both these items inside the division so we'll press tab and it will create the head uh, it will create the division and we have this heading and this paragraph below it so the next thing is the numbering system in emmet so let's create some list items we will, we will type ul li star uh, we will have five list items and in that we will have an anchor tag and in that we will have something written we will have item one item two item three and till item five so for that we we can use a shortcut in emmet so you have to type this in curly braces so here you can type item and uh, dollar symbol for the numbering and if you press tab we can see we have this unordered list and these list items and in that we have the numbering one two three four five this can be so this can be really handy for numbering a lot of items we can also do some other variations for this for example if you type one more dollar symbol over here and press tab we can see we have 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03 and so on. Now if you want to have a descending numbering, you can do it by typing at the rate minus 1. It will have a decreasing numbering and uh, it will end on 1. So if you press tab, we can see we have item number 054321. In the same way, you can also start the numbering from a different number for example if you want to start the numbering from 7 just type at the rate 7 and press tab so the so the numbering starts from 7 8 9 10 11 so these are all the things that you can do with numbering in emmet and it can save you a lot of time in designing your website so the next thing is this carrot symbol this can be used to climb up a level of your tags so let me explain this so if you want to have a division and uh, then one more division um, as a sibling and then in that division we want to have a paragraph in that we have we want to have an h1 and then an h3 and now we want to have a form inside this division over here so we, we don't want to have this inside the paragraph we want to have this inside this division 
so for that we have to just type this caret symbol and then type form and it will go into this division over here so let's press tab so here we can see we have this division and in this division we have this paragraph in that paragraph we have these two headings and since we have given the caret symbol we have this form outside the paragraph so we have moved one level up and uh, we have this form in our division so this is why a caret symbol is used in emmet so the next thing is uh, parenthesis for grouping the elements so for example if you want to have a division inside that division we want to have a, a paragraph and uh, also an image and now if we create another group we have another division with a class of section 2 and uh, in that we also have a paragraph and an image so if we press tab we can see this is the first group that we had and this is the second group so we have this class section so this is how you can group the different tags and create uh, the design as you want the next thing is uh, using the lorem ipsum text so most of the times developers need to copy the text from some websites and paste it in their web pages to see how the text will look but now using emmet you can do it right in your code editor so if you need to have some lorem ipsum text in our paragraph we just type paragraph and type lorem and the number of words that we need to have so we'll just type 100 and press tab we can see in our paragraph we have this lorem ipsum text and it has 100 words so this can be really useful uh, in your designing so for the final example we will create a complete a basic HTML file using Emmet and possibly with just one line of code so let's get started so first of all we will create this HTML file template using the exclamation symbol and we'll press tab and here we will write some Emmet code possibly a single line of code and you will be amazed to see how much time you can save using Emmet so let's get started with our final example so let me just explain what we need to have so first of all we, we need to have a header and inside that we will have a navigation a nav tag and in that we will have a ul with some list items and we will also number them and then outside the header uh, we need to have an aside with a class of sidebar and then after that we will have an article section and we will also give it a class and then inside that we will have some lorem ipsum text and at last we will have a footer and in that we will have gt coding written in it so we will design all these things using one line of code in emmet so let's get started so first of all we'll create this first section so for that we will have our parenthesis and in that we will type header and in our header we want to have a nav and uh, we will give it a class of navigation and in that we will have a ul and also in that ul we have uh, five list items so we will type li star five and in each of the list items we have anchor tags and in that we will have written item and 010203 so we have this first part completed and then we will have an aside with a class of sidebar then we will have an article with a class of main content and in that we will have a lorem ipsum of 100 words and we will climb up one level so that we can have our footer outside uh, the aside 
so now we are inside the aside because we have this greater than symbol over here so we'll just type caret symbol and type footer and in that we will have gt coding written so this is our line of code in emmet hopefully everything will work out so we'll press tab and here you can see that we have everything as we needed to have so we have this header and this nav with a class of navigation we have the unordered list and the list items we have all the items uh, numbered correctly and below the header we have the aside with the class of sidebar and an article with the class of main content we have this lorem ipsum text of 100 words and here we have our footer and it has GT coding written in it so you can see how time saving it is to write code using Emmet so you just have to learn a little bit of syntax or some shortcuts and you can save a lot of your time in writing your HTML so I hope that you will definitely try this tool out there are also shortcuts in CSS using Emmet so we will just open our CSS so here we have our CSS and we have a class called box in that we will just test out some of the emmet shortcuts so most of the things in emmet are intuitive for css for example if you type w10 and press tab it will have it will give us a width of 10 type h20 and you may have guessed it right it gives a height of 20 pixels if you type p 10 it will give a padding of 10 so if you want to have four different values for padding you can type p 10 hyphen 20 hyphen 30 hyphen 10 or whatever you want and press tab and you have this padding some other shortcuts are bg hash any color that you want so it will have a background color of ddd there are some other shortcuts like bxz which is for box sizing and if you press tab we can see we also have this uh, browser compatibility issue solved over here so it will work on every browser if you want to have box shadow we just have to type bx sh and just type in all the values we will have the color as blue and if you press tab we can see we have this box shadow and we also have this browser compatible code over here so this can definitely save you a lot of time in writing your HTML and CSS so if you are a web designer you should definitely check this out and uh, take advantage of this so that you can focus more on the design rather than writing all the HTML and CSS code Emmet also has a documentation of its own and you can check it out they also have a cheat sheet where you can learn about all the shortcuts that they have you can dive deep into the emmet shortcuts so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you have understood how to use emmet and if you have any doubts you can type them in the comments section below and if you really like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates of the videos so thanks a lot for watching have a nice day